welcome and happy Sabbath. We are um, grateful to be with you again this evening, just loving every Sabbath, getting to sing with friends that you've never sung with before, but that you know well. <laughs> and, um, and look who we have here this evening. <laughs> New daddy, Papa. <laughs> Papa Braid. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll wait till a few more of you get on before we introduce um, Kylie. <laughs> But let's sing together. Kylie came up with some suggestions for us this evening. And um, the first one that she recommended is Keith Green's piece, There Is a Redeemer. So pull up some lyrics for that. Well, Melody Green, his wife wrote it actually. Oh, really? hmm. She's a good so summer. this thing tells me here. <laughs> uh, there is a redeemer. Let's sing together. Welcome tonight. We have the new daddy, my nephew, <laughs> Brayden. Tell us a story, Brayden. Yeah, so a little over five weeks ago, um, our little boy was born, Levi John, on the 3rd of the 3rd of March. So mm -hmm. if, if he was born on his due date, which would have been the 4th, it would have been 4 3 2 1. That uh, would have been his birthday, uh, but it was 3 3 2 1. Um, we were. Yeah, look, it was just an amazing experience, and we praise God. Being the first child, the labor was only an hour and a half, and we got to the hospital, and it was 35 minutes, and the baby was out. I almost missed it because I had to park the car. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just in incredible. Amazing. Amazing. I keep looking at photos of him at work, 
um, keep me getting getting through the day and keep me going and it's just a blessing to yeah have a little life and yeah we serve an amazing God who performs miracles on a daily basis yeah. you know people sometimes may have asked you have you ever seen a miracle how do you know that there's a God you saw look I saw no. one and, and we, we are so busy looking out that uh, I think even you know some famous writers have written we, we're looking out and trying to solve the world but we very rarely um, have that introspection to see the miracle of sight and just what we are as people mm. and boy you know god god made us and uh, getting to see that creation being part of it look what a blessing that is yeah, yeah. amazing amazing hey let's sing another song and then we'll introduce this one <laughs> um what congrats says, oh says everyone <laughs> lovely sparrows like so i saw you <laughs> um what would you like to sing next dear ones Okay, yeah. joyful, joyful, we adore thee. I'll do a melody. I can't remember the melody. Okay. It's nice to have another alto in the house. <laughs> sat on front row each class <laughs> at a rise yeah, that's right. <laughs> 2013 we were the front row crew joe tyler in this area he also was in our arise class um should have had him on tonight yeah, made a little right. arise reunion <laughs> but um that's where i first met kylie you came in to arise from as in where i came from yeah adelaide mm. hello to the adelaide people here's your girl we're hello. in an ipswich <laughs> So she hung around the, the Tweed area and, and, and did a few more Arise classes with all the students in the years after that and um, has ended up recently here. So nice to have you, girl. It's awesome. Okay, we're going to take your favourites and their favourites. Whoever's in first wins. Mm. Oh, when we all get to yeah, heaven, Rochelle. I have that on my list. Too. Oh, lovely. Shall we? Let's do that. I want to say 633. If you are looking up a hymnal, when we all get to heaven, can you see it? There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this has got that nice 
nice little chord in it too, doesn't it? This it's reminds a, me of your sister. The Rise version yeah. of when we were. requested it but I saw your names thank you <clears throat> Ooh, coming back <clears throat> shine Jesus shine awesome happy Sabbath hope you've had a good week
through my mind and I go, I don't know that chord. Yes. There's only a limited number here, you know, there's only an octave, there's only like, you just have to crack and try to find it. That's so good. <clears throat> um, just one, one thought that came to me while I was singing that song. He talks about this idea of the glory of God shining in the world. And, um, you know, can you think of any verses in scripture where it talks about the glory of God shining forth? You, you'll find them from, at the end of the Bible, Revelation. We talk about Revelation 18 and other chapters. You've got Isaiah 60. But I think the earliest one I recall is when Moses was talking with God. Israel had just forsaken God with the golden calf thing. And it just seemed like all of God's plans were coming to a failure. And it's then that God says um, to Moses, surely the earth will be full of the knowledge of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. um, that the whole world will be. And I find that so interesting at a moment of seeming defeat where it seems like how in the world could God if the people that he's chosen to reflect him aren't yep, yep. he still has a way and a plan so broad and so deep mm -hmm. that with this faithless fault, faulty people he's still going to take the glory to the world and mm -hmm. reveal his character to the world mm -hmm. uh, there's a child who'd be born his name is Jesus mm -hmm. and so I just found that, that interesting that God shines his glory often and persistently, even when it's the, the darkest mm. and you never think that he'd ever get a light through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a miracle that we know anything about God and his goodness today. Mm. 
Wow. And, yeah. That's and that so flame true. is kept alive all the way through. Oh, beautiful. Amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, blaze, spirit blaze. Wow, that's <clears throat> beautiful. All righty. Well, well, well now, <clears throat> flicking through here as well. What? Sabbath rest. Oh, Sabbath rest. Now there's one we haven't done in a oh, little while. It. Yes, Braden's a dad, Lorna. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to scroll back and listen later. <laughs> he told us all about it a little earlier. <laughs> yeah. Still pass me not a gentle saviour. Oh, you know that. One? Yep. Cool. Hey, um, I'm I'm seeing the countries you're typing in where you you're coming in from. I saw Malaysia. I saw Guyana. Is that Sweden. Switzerland. I saw Sweden. I don't know whether I saw Switzerland, but oh, I Sweden, also maybe. saw um. Oh, can't remember what I saw. Um, but what I did see was greetings from to CBN TV. Um, so welcome to all the viewers who are watching on that platform. Good to have you here with us. Second Coming Broadcasting Network, I think that is TCVN. And 3AM TV, Three Angels Message, Messages TV. Welcome to all the viewers from that platform as well. Okay, we're going for Pass Me Not, O oh Gentle Saviour. Okay. 
mum from that person. Aww. <laughs> Didn't catch who the name was though. <laughs> Shout out to Timmy from Kingscliff Church. Oh, nice. He's a legend. Nice. And what about um, Anne from the Philippines? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us you, your, your background, your heritage. I can't make that um, Just to clarify, I told Sandra that I didn't want any sneaky solos. And, um, <laughs> so that's why I just butchered that. But <laughs> um, so my mum is from the Philippines. She's from Mindanao, Bukidnon. So if any of my family are out there, I say happy Sabbath to you. In Tagalog? Oh no. Okay. We speak, we speak um, Visayan, but I can't oh, speak okay. it. <laughs> I'm a fake. <laughs> oh dear. Um, that's why, I, because I was seeing those other countries yeah. and I was listening to them, I was trying, what was the country I thought I wanted to say? I forgot it was the Philippines. Because I Did you have one ready? I saw this is my father. Yeah, I, I saw that too. I was going to say that too. Yes. yes, Michelle. Oh, no, that's this no. world is not my home. <laughs> Sorry, someone uh, earlier requested this is my father's world. Let's go to that one. Is that too high? Because I don't have the piano, though. <laughs> Yeah. 
Getting me back from all the times I was trolling him on the oh, <laughs> when, oh, when his wife is there. Yeah. Um, so they're asking you to tell us about your dad's side. Oh, uh, he's Aussie. My n- nana was English, but his dad was from Norway, actually. Mm. And yeah, I, we don't know much about his family. So cool. Yeah. There's the family tree for that. That. So as some people have been asking to please share, um, you know, ask the participants to please share how they got um, into music, how they developed their talents, how they, I'd say for a lot of us it would have been family worship in the home, growing up in a, in a you know, Christian home, but I don't, I don't know about you, I've never sung with Kylie in my life, oh. even though we did a rise together, we've never sung together, I didn't even know she could harmonise, so, <laughs> so, um, Tell us how you um, developed a lot. Oh, just singing. going to church yeah. and singing. Nice, there you go. I'm just a very good congregational singer. <laughs> I don't really sing off the front. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's um, it works for sing-alongs. Yeah. This is congregational singing with all these yeah. new people. I just listen to um, like heritage singers. Like My mum used to play all that, of course. I think heritage singers have just got so much to um you know they, they've contributed so much to mm. generations of news of people who now know how to harmonize because you learned to sing harmony with that group of singers mm. hey what a blessing yeah, that was yeah. is to so many all righty what are we singing next their choice your choice mm-hmm. whatever you sing what would you like that's still still <laughs> yes let's do it that's simply what it's called sparrow and alina who are taking notes for us thank you ladies cataloging the uh, order of songs to put up later so you can find your favorites easy <laughs> yeah sure Maybe guitar. yeah and hopefully the mix is time for the second solo <laughs> hopefully the mix is nice that you can do all parts <laughs> i can sing softer if i need to Oceans rise and thunders 
not sure what you may have been going through um, where where that song really needs to speak to you but mm. I saw Nisi um, typing in from Burma mm. she says that's from Myanmar been saying Myanmar all week but it's Myanmar hey Myanmar Myanmar and and Nisi and all of you who are watching from that country just know that um, our hearts really are touched with what you're going through there and our prayers are for you to stay strong to hold tight to Jesus through all the unrest happening in your country right now um, yeah sometimes it just feels like we're going through our time of trouble and we're just ready for translation hey? so hold tight what you got there bro? oh he just plays nice mm. in between what have you got people oh that's excellent oh. Oh, yeah, we forget to tell you the keys were again. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for for holding them in prayer as well. Beautiful. Okay. Jesus loves me. Mm. Sure. <laughs> for the little ones who are still with us um, before their bedtimes, Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. <clears throat> bearing those scars mm. you know forever um, showing what price he paid um, what did you see what, in Christ one? alone yes oh. alone. and I saw just as I am a long time ago okay oh. if that person's still waiting <laughs> <laughs> we could go to just as I am and then in Christ alone <clears throat> okay just as I am which that version is that what yeah sure <laughs> Number is it? Can I remember? It's like, oh. Okay, I'm looking up the hymn <laughs> Chat amongst yourselves while you're waiting. You got it. <laughs>
because sometimes they trick you up otherwise. What tune is that one? Three one fours tune. Oh yeah, but all those verses go with that mm -hmm. tune. We're good. We're good. <coughs> Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. I I said that last time we sang <clears> on a sing along. <laughs> I think I, I got bat baptized with Leanne, Braden's mum, and oh. I think she had all to Jesus I surrender, mm. and I had just as song, I am. Oh, they're both beautiful, aren't they? But we were going to in Christ alone mm -hmm. next, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Emma, <clears throat> Emma, in Christ alone for you and whoever else was. We've done still. Whoever else was requesting that one, um, come back. What is it called? In Christ Alone. My 
surrender all it's mm. a whole nother thing to live that consi mm. consistently isn't it mm. and I suppose the more we sing those kind of lyrics the more they become ingrained in our mind when we find that there are things in our life and views that we have or positions we take <coughs> that we just need to surrender mm. um, so yeah I hope that you're all able to sing that and really gain some extra insight of what that means to live the surrendered mm. life it's um for, for for those of us who are familiar with the, the i guess the language of christianity and the bible and, and, and christian music and whatever the word surrender we kind of have a positive feeling toward that yeah, but do. it is strange mm. victory through surrender it's yeah a, it's a strange kind of concept it's saving your life by laying it down so, yeah. um, so it's just there's something about the the christian life which is um only, only the, the Holy Spirit can help us to see and appreciate, um, yeah. to appreciate that surrender. And Jesus, everything that he accomplished to save the world was through surrender. Mm. Not my will, but mm -hmm. thine be done. Yep. So <clears throat> there's nothing to be lost by that surrender to God. So true. So true. <clears throat> I did see requests earlier for songs like, why? Nope. <laughs> No, no, not happening tonight. I can't play it, can't play it. <laughs> Sorry. I never want to shame a musician and say they can't play that. <laughs> <laughs> I shame myself. Oh dear, that won't be happening. Wonderful tonight. words of life oh, just flashed up. That's a fancy. Temple of time. I, I'm not sure of that. Oh, someone said that to me and I think I have heard it, but I haven't learned it. What was that wonderful word? Darren, we saw your request. Wonderful words of life. Wonderful world. 
Anya plays it like that and we're converted. She's awesome. Hey, welcome uh, Herb and Vi and Mel and Charmaine from Somerset Dam. That's nice that you're up there. Side by side. Oh, we like that. That's a good one. Those ones. Is, is Lynn and David with you? They're Ipswich people. They're the people I grew up knowing since I was this high. They're just like, oh, it's been around forever. <laughs> side by side, okay, sorry. Oh, now I'm dropping the hymn book. Side by Braden solo. We can just turn the volume down so you can hear um, his voice. No? I'm, I'm actually losing my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing. It's going to be a Braden solo. That <laughs> <coughs> no, was not fake. That's legitimate. <laughs> Here we go. Side by side we stand Awaiting God's command in Seventh-day Adventism. It seems to be that everywhere you go, Adventists know mm. that song. And it was written um, by an Adventist gentleman who actually passed away a few years ago. Um, 
and it's just one of those beautiful songs we often sing at the end of our gatherings before we leave just in case you don't see them again I saw what a friend we have in Jesus princess yes. I saw your request back would that be okay <laughs> So we're singing about each Friday night is Jesus. He um, certainly is someone that we value having in our lives and, and can't imagine you know, not having Jesus as a part of our lives. So I hope that that's what you're catching a glimpse of each Friday night, that you get that that's, that's what um, the Christian's hope is, seeing Jesus. Savior is waiting for asking for it that many times. <laughs> oh, do you know to, to play and sing that one? Maybe guitar. Yeah. Ooh. Or we could save it for last because that is such a beautiful. And oh, we can do it now. <laughs> yeah, we can do it last. Okay, so Lucy, hold that thought. We're going to save that one for the end. What else have you got, folks? We are marching to Zion. Oh, yeah. Come with it, love the Lord. Yeah. Let's do that. We are uh, marching design, I think we're going to call that one. Oh, Fort I that one. Marching design 422, I think it is. That's about as high. Marching design. Unless you want to take Alto. I just kept hugging Alto all night. 
I'm sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> I'm butcher the outhouse. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Come, we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And thus around the throne, and thus surround the throne. We're marching. Guitar out again, Lucy, for your Savior is waiting to end with. What is that song? Oh, all in all. Oh. <clears throat> if you didn't choose it, Brayden's choosing You Are My All in All for you. Sparrow, was that your request? You Are My All in All. <laughs> oh dear.
Ted Washundi or t oh. Teddy Wanashi, Teddy Wanashi, all the way my savior leads That's me. Do you know song. that? Yeah. All the way my savior. Let's try that. Come on, okay. Share something real quick. Yeah, go for it. While I look um, that song is um, such a you know a theme from the Book of Revelation. This praising the Lamb, praising Jesus, praising the Father. There's this praise and that singing. I was just talking to my wife tonight as we were driving here, and I was just thinking. You know, when someone like praises us and, and you know says, you know, you're so talented or you're this or you're that, it makes us kind of uncomfortable. You know, if we're egotistical and proud, it might puff us up. But when there's the when Christ dwells in the heart, it's it's not very comfortable to be praised. You know, mm. you know sometimes you know if you've grown up in church, you think, oh, you know, God just wants us to come and sing to Him, and so you know, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, and then we go home, and now He's happy. Do you think? That Jesus, the humble and meek Jesus, mm, just wow. loves interesting point. the praise and the attention all the time. You know, I think about when he healed the, the man at the pool of Bethesda. He didn't hang around for the praise. The guy looked around to find who healed him and Jesus was off mm. trying to help someone else. He just walked away. He didn't stay around for the praise. And I was just thinking, you know, this idea that, you know, we have to come and just like praise, 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 and then God's now happy. That's, mm. not, that's not what music is all about. What, I'm, what I've come to know about Jesus is that he's the most humble and most beautiful person in the universe. Mm -hmm. And he's the kind of person that would happily be in the background serving and blessing. Mm -hmm. But his goodness and his love cannot be hidden. And when it's discovered, we cannot help but praise. Mm. And I can just picture Jesus when, when we're in heaven and we actually are around him and we're praising him. Do you think this will be Jesus just, you know, taking it all in like the rock stars do? Well, no. Not at all. No. Jesus is so humble. You know, I can just picture him just, you know, the, the, mm. the, the servant heart that he is, not just slapping it all up and finally now everyone will worship me. No, no, that's not God. Mm. He'll always be the one who perhaps feels uncomfortable with praise. Mm. But everyone keeps praising because they learn about him, they discover him, wow. and they cannot help but praise. So it's a, it's a bit of an awkward kind of thing. The more we know about him, the more we want to praise. Wow. And he can't be hidden, even though he'd maybe oh, that's be more so comfortable. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, it's a that's a really interesting idea, isn't it? Yeah. Because everything we know about God is revealed in Jesus Christ, the one who washed feet, the yep. one who was serving in the background and just not wanting to be the center for the center's sake. Mm, mm. Um, yeah. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Sorry, I just jammed it there. Let me just do that. It should go again. There we go. Wait. That was All the way, my Savior leads me. Yes, it is. Let me just five one six in the hymn book. Oh, I'm going for H for the hymn books. I haven't sung this song in years. So this is probably good. Hey, we're up. Mm -hmm. oh. Sweet. 
Sparrow, I know you had earlier requests and I just stuck on binders together. Oh, oh, oops, do, do Lord, <laughs> do Lord, all binders together, whichever. Which one do you want, Sparrow? Do Lord or binders? I'll open them both so that by the time you hit your reply, we'll be ready. Dropbox and lots of people have access, maybe it disappears that way. <laughs> what did she say? Do she Lord or Binder? She hasn't replied yet. Okay. Do Lord's wedding. <laughs> oh, I've got a home, I think it's called here. I've got a home. Oh, yeah, where is uh, it? There it is. Yeah. Do Lord, Do get Lord. on your sparrow. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Braden stepped out in faith. <laughs> Yes, it's it's time up. It is time up. 
Thank you so much for joining us, um, for having us in your homes. Um, it's still preparation day for many of you. I realise you're waking up early in the morning. And for those of us here in this part of the globe, it's bedtime. The Sabbath has begun at sunset and um, we're looking forward to worshipping tomorrow in our various places of worship. Become a dip switch. Mm, dip. <laughs> <laughs> got a recruit. <laughs> got friends everywhere you can't guarantee she's always gonna be here <laughs> but wherever you choose to worship tomorrow or if you're stuck at home still and you're not worshiping just um, really hope and pray that your Sabbath is a blessed one if you don't keep the Sabbath holy if you're not um, a Christian but you just watch our little sing-alongs for a bit of relaxation and, and time out then I hope that we've brought a little bit of what the Sabbath is into your home and um, shown you how beautiful it can be just to stop and pause and, and exhale and step away from the stuff that stresses us during the week just spend time with Jesus spend time with each other sing pray read the Bible it's just beautiful things that we get to do in these hours thanks for having us we might do a little um, promise for someone a prayer and then we'll do the Savior is waiting Lucy I hope you're still there Lucy's waiting too <laughs> for her <laughs> choice Let's pull out, oopsie daisy, let's pull out four <laughs> hands, <laughs> hands. Okay, we've got a promise for you and it's found in Matthew 6, 26 to 30. This is the New Living translation and it's a little bit personalized as well and it says look at the birds they don't need to plant or harvest or put food in barns because your heavenly father feeds them and hands you're of far more value to him than they are look at the lilies how they grow and if God so wonderfully cares for the flowers that are here today and gone tomorrow. Won't he more surely care for his daughter hands? Matthew 6, 26 to 30. I hope you know mm. that you are loved and cared for by a father who sees everything that your life is and who loves you intimately and just wants the best for you. Let us pray together and then sing our last song and let Brayden take his wife and his baby home to bed. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to pray for us, Brayden? We haven't had you on for a little while, have we? Mm. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Dad. Gracious Father in heaven, thank you for the privilege of um, approaching the throne with confidence. We have no right in ourselves um, to closeness to you, but Jesus has opened the way. Mm. We thank you for his life, his death, and his resurrection. We thank you, Father, for sending Jesus, and we thank you, Jesus, for coming. We thank you for revealing the heart of God to us. Lord, there are people from all over the place on this planet that you've made who are tuning in tonight, and Lord, this, for some people, um, could be a very significant night. It's a night that you speak to them and, mm. and, and really make known yourself to them. You have said in your word that if we seek you, we will find you when we search for you with all of our hearts. And I want to pray, Father, that we'd not be content with distance, that we'd not be content with any dysfunction in our relationship with you. And I want to pray, Father, for every person who's listening yeah. right now and has been listening through this music I just pray that you would speak to them and invite them to come mm. you have said come unto me all you who labour and are heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls yeah. for my yoke is easy and my burden is light God bless us with your Holy Spirit and deliver us from Satan's power for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever mm. Amen Amen mm. Amen. Alrighty, we're doing the Saviour is waiting to enter your heart.
again so much love to you all sabbath blessings have a beautiful day thank you kylie thank you <laughs> thanks Brayden. thank you all and you get to hit the finish button